Hello, hello, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be coming to you with a brush set comparison. I just received in the mail my crown brush set. This was the one that Candy Johnson was hooing and hawing about online. Basically, uh, this brush set was $29.99. I think it was through December 26th. And it included quite a few brushes. Um, it came in this nice little brush holder. And it included all of these brushes, as you can see. So I recently purchased for my mom a brush set from Sigma. This was their, um, I guess it's the complete set. It's the one that's not the professional set, but it comes with 12 brushes. And then I also bought for her a flat top kabuki, which is like my ultimate favorite. Um, and the total on this package was $79. Um, and I didn't buy her the case that came with it. I just bought her this um, set and then the additional kabuki I believe was uh, don't quote me on this $15 I think $14 something like that and the flat top kabuki it looks like this and it comes what's really nice about the Sigma brushes is they come with brush guards so this one came with this really nice little brush guard to protect it I actually just washed this brush so it's rather wet but uh brush guards so that when they're drying, they don't lose their shape. This one is regularly, I believe on Crown Brush's site, $49.99 or $39.99, either way, it's in the 40s, okay? 40s range, if you don't buy it with the coupon code that Candy gave out. So it was about $30 with the coupon code. Um, so this brush set was $79, and then this was an additional $15 or something like that. So $79, no brush case, but there's some little comparisons I guess I'm going to do with each of the brushes in the brush set. So one nice little feature you get with the Sigma brush set is you also receive this sort of brush guide. It is a guide that tells you what all the brushes do. So if you're like my mom, if you're one of those people who's like, uh, why do I need 8,000 brushes? This might be a nice little feature for you if you're looking at the Sigma brush set, but it's just like a thin paper, you know, advertisement it's not necessarily like a booklet or something like that to teach you it literally says like for the pencil brush the e30 precise application of color in the crease outer corner upper and lower lash line natural bristles so just to show you I'll do a comparison this is the big brush offered in the Sigma brush set it is your powder brush it looks like this it comes with a brush guard that looks like this this is the f30 and this is the equivalent in the pink set that I just showed you from Crown Brush. So here's the brush comparison. I'll hold them against the white so you can see. This one's a little bit bigger. It's also heavier. This is quite a bit lighter. The brushes are color coded for this, this collection based on which brush you purchase, which brush set. So I purchased the pink one, so all of the brushes are black with a black, I forgot what this thing's called, whatever this thing is, feral, I think. I think it's called a feral but with a black, black ferrule. Overall, I think they're gonna give you the same effect when applying powder, so. Hmm. The next brush offered in the crown brush set is this sort of angled brush, and I guess the Sigma equivalent of that would be this brush right here, which is also wet, so it's kind of, well, it's kind of dry now, actually. I just washed it. But it comes with a brush guard and it looks like this and it is the F40. So this is the comparable brush and it's an angled brush. And again, the Sigma ones are quite a bit heavier. Uh, I believe this is synthetic hair and this, you know what, we'll see. Natural bristles, okay. So natural bristles and this one is synthetic hair. But looking at the shape, okay, this one's a little crazy because it just got washed, but that's the difference in shape. Again, I think they're both gonna give you the same results. This is really gonna get into your contour. This is really gonna get to your contour. I think maybe this one might do a little bit better job because it's not quite so thick. This one is a little bit thicker. Even before I washed it, it was a little bit thicker. Maybe if I leave it in the brush guard a little longer, it'll stay more together, but. So, these are the two comparable brushes. The next brush in the crown brush group is this one. And I guess the equivalent of this one, you know what? I guess they don't give the 190 brush anymore with the Sigma set. My Sigma set came with a 190 brush, which 
doesn't seem to be given in this Sigma set. So the Sigma set here seems to exclude that brush. So I would say this is kind of the equivalent of the MAC 190. Um, I can grab my set real quick and show you the difference. So this is the Sigma 190 that used to be given with this set, and this is what I would guess is comparable. They no longer give this with the Sigma set. So FYI, if you're looking at the Sigma set, it doesn't come with anyone that's like the MAC 190 or the Sigma 190 that used to be given with the set. This one comes with one. The next brush in the line is going to be the foundation brushes. This is the Sigma foundation brush. This is an F60. And if I remember correctly, mine came with a brush guard for this one, but this set did not come with a brush guard for this one. So maybe they're changing their philosophies on brush guards. This is the crown uh, foundation brush. Both, like I said, Sigma tends to feel heavier. Um, they both seem like they would get the job done though. I have noticed a little bit of shedding from the crown brushes, so, and I have noticed that on the black bristle brushes, the synthetic brushes, uh, there tends to be a lot of shedding with the Sigma brushes. But so this is the comparison of the two. As you can see, this is similar, but this actually goes in a little bit more on the Sigma brush. Overall though, I think they'd both get the job done. I think I like the Sigma one a little bit better because it's a thicker brush overall, I think. Maybe it just feels heavier, so I think it's thicker, but. Next brush in the crown brush set is this one, which I, the only equivalent one I could think of would be the Sigma, what used to be the 290. So here is what used to be the Sigma 290. It's now called the E55. And it looks like this, and this is, I guess it's equivalent in crown brush. They are both great for packing on color. I'll just put my hand in front so you can see better the difference. And I honestly think these two brushes would do the same thing. The Sigma one's a little bit smaller, so maybe if you have a smaller lid. But I honestly think the thicker one would be better because sometimes you just want to pack on color real quick. So a little bit thicker one would be nice too. It would be nice if there was a thin one and a thick one offered in both sets. The next brush set in the crown brush set is this one. There is nothing quite like this by Sigma. This is like an angled blending brush. <laughs> um, and I noticed in the crown set they don't offer a blending brush like the 224 for MAC. This is the Sigma E40, which is a tapered blending brush. So I guess that's what you're supposed to do. So just to see these brushes up close, this one, uh, the crown one, is obviously angled and thicker, and the Sigma one is clearly tapered and great for blending. This is my favorite brush overall from the set, from the Sigma, hands down, favorite brush. So I don't know what I'd do without this brush, and I don't know why they didn't put anything like that in the crown brush set. So. Moving on, the next brush that's somewhat similar like the Sigma brush is going to be this crown brush, which is a lot like the Sigma E60, and it just looks like this. It's quite tapered on the Sigma one to almost a point. I don't know how well you guys can see that. And then this one is actually quite thick. So they are similar in shape when looking at them like this. But when you actually look at them from this angle, this one is quite a bit thicker. The crown one is very thick. So I don't know that I would necessarily want to use this for blending the way I use this one or packing on color. Definitely good for packing on color. I don't know about for blending. It might, the bristles might be a little too spread out. The next brush offered in the crown set is this one. Looks like this. Um. The only one that, honestly, that brush I showed you that was kind of angled is sort of like the Sigma E70, but the Sigma E70 looks like this from here, but is very flat. And the brush I showed you here was quite thick and round. So, yeah, not really sure. And now moving on to this other brush that I'm just showing you from Crown the very tiny sort of pack on color brush. I think I have a brush from MAC sort of like this, but I don't have anything from Sigma like this brush. So this would be great for packing on color in a specific spot on the eye. So if you wanted to get just right in the corner of your eye or something like that, 
great for that. Um, overall though, there's nothing like that in the Sigma set, nothing like this brush. The next brushes in the Sigma and Crown set overview or comparison or whatever it is, is these two brushes. These are both, I would say, concealer brushes. So the Crown one's on the right and the Sigma one's on the left. And this is the Sigma F70. So it's definitely great for packing on color um, under the tear duct, that sort of thing, like packing on concealing, that sort of stuff. We're even concealing over blemishes. Uh, these brushes are very similar overall, except the Sigma one comes in a little bit more to a point. The next brush offered in the crown set is this straight flat brush. This is a brush you're not going to get with the Sigma set. The next brush in the sets comparison is going to be this smudger brush which is a lot like the Sigma smudger brush. These are both pencil brushes, so they basically look exactly, almost exactly the same. This one is a little bit, they're both tapered. Mine actually looks a little bit more like the crown one, which is weird. And this is the pencil E30 brush, and this is the crown brush. This next brush you will not get in the Sigma set. This is a eyebrow comb slash lash separator slash eyebrow comb type of thing. You're not going to get this in the Sigma set, FYI. This brush again you won't find in the Sigma set. It is a concealer brush I'm assuming. <laughs> not really sure what you, probably like little blemishes, that sort of thing. That's what I would probably use it for. There is nothing like this in the Sigma set except the one I already showed you which is also a concealer brush but is more similar to the other concealer brush. This is the F70. The last brush, or the second to last brush, is also not something you're going to find in the Sigma brush set. This is a fan brush, great for applying highlight, great for uh, kind of really setting a contour in this cheek, um, great for up and down the nose, shading around the nose, those sorts of things. Great little brush, not included in the Sigma set. Finally, last but not least, um, this is the angled brush for the crown set. And this is the Sigma brush for the Sigma set. So they look like this. They are both angled, almost the same diameter, or almost the same length across. This is the Sigma E65. This has no numbering. Finally, a brush offered within the Sigma set, which now I'm realizing maybe that crown brush I picked up that didn't know what was a comparison was meant for this. This is a lip brush, uh, or no, this is an eyeliner brush, excuse me, I always use it as a lip brush <laughs> from Sigma. It's an E05 brush, it's very pointed. So I use this as a lip brush, even though it's an eyeliner brush, the E05. So, um, Crown offers a lip brush, Sigma offers an eyeliner brush, but no lip brush. So just keep that in mind. If you want a lip brush, you might want to go with the Crown. If an eyeliner brush is more important to you, you might want to go with the Sigma. With the Crown brush set, which comes with this nice little package to hold all of the brushes in, you get 15 brushes. So 15 brushes in this set, and the Sigma brush set, which comes in if you don't purchase the actual extra brush roll, comes in this, only offers 12 brushes. So just to let you know, those are the differences between the Sigma and the Crown brush sets. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I know I have a ton of brushes and I rambled on and on and compared them all for you and I hope this video wasn't boring. I hope it really was helpful. Um, and I want to hear your guys' resolutions because hello, it's the new year. So, um, as I'm feeling this, it's not the new year yet, but tomorrow it will be the new year. Or not tomorrow for me, the next day after tomorrow will be the new year. So, um, I'd love to hear what you guys think, um, what your resolutions are, what your plans are, what makeup is exciting to you, what you're interested in hearing reviews about, um, thoughts and ideas, requests. Um, I'm definitely going to do an updated skincare routine video since that was a request and um, I have lots of products to show you guys. I am not a big regimen person so you guys are going to be a little shocked when you see my regimen. But needless to say I'll save that for the video. Alright guys, have a great day. Bye! Happy New Year!